No way! Are you kidding me? What I'm about to show you in this video is gonna blow your mind. This right over here is peak tech, guys. I bet you've never seen a graphic card like this anywhere before. And this is some exclusive content that is happening on our channel, guys. So I don't know what you people will do. Make sure to smash that like button and click the notifications bell icon on. So, guys, this is a brand new GPU from Colorful. It's their iGAM series, Vulcan RTX 4070 Ti Super OC Edition card, and it literally comes it's like a magnetically detachable LCD display that is like fully customizable guys that is something crazy I would say next gen GPU on top of that this is a white edition card lot of people have been asking me Vimal bro can you build like a complete white themed gaming PC setup and that is what I'll be doing using this card so in this video I'll unbox it I'll give my complete review and experience and also share all the exclusive features that you'll get with this card I'm telling you right the whole unboxing experience is also something special so be patient and watch Watch the video till the end. Alright boys, about time we get started with the unboxing. Our brand new GPU from Colorful came in this sort of packaging. Massive packaging, I'm not sure how it's looking in the video. You got your iGame branding, picture of the product over here says Vulcan 4070 Ti Super and that too this is the OC edition. So let's quickly get started with the unboxing. As soon as you open it, you've got some nice artwork over here that says love what you play and at the top you're actually getting a massive accessory box. Look at this! Oh, oh, oh boy, look at the number of accessories you're getting over here. Plenty of stuff. In this tiny box, you actually have some documents and paperwork. Just make sure to read that. And what's this? Oh, how did I miss this? Colorful usually gives you a free pair of premium white gloves with all their premium and exclusive GPUs. Let me just quickly wear them. You know guys, putting them on makes me feel like a scientist and maybe I'm working on some sort of top-end research material. Kinda cool, right? Kakui, I would say. Anyways, let me show you the accessories. First thing that you're checking out over here is an ARGB mirror finished module. So basically, as I've told you, in case if you don't want to use the display on the GPU, you can replace it with this mirror finished RGB module as well. So it's completely customizable. Choice is up to you. And this is an accessory we've been really waiting for, guys. That magnetically detachable LCD screen. I mean, look at this thing. That is so cool, right? It's actually quite big in size. I was not expecting that. It can be installed in two different positions, vertically or horizontally. It's all up to you. I'll show you how to do that also in a moment. Keeping that aside, you're also getting some more accessories, which include a free magnetic screwdriver as well with some bits. And this one is your anti-sag bracket and stand for the GPU. Basically like a support stand for the GPU. Finally, moving on. Now let's check out the product we've been waiting for. Colorful all new iGame Vulcan White Edition 4070 Ti Super. Super. My god, that is one massive looking card, right? Let me just quickly take it out of this cover and show you. Oh ho ho, look at the paint job and the finishing. You know, initial impression, since it's a white edition card, it actually looks straight out of that Gundam robot anime series. How many of you people feel the same? Holy moly, that is one beautiful looking card. I'm kind of speechless, guys. Let me just keep it aside for now and show you all the other stuff also we got in the package. Oh, look at this. You're also getting this external display dock. I've told you now, you can use the display either on the GPU or even use it externally for your PC. It easily connects via USB port and you're getting a standard 1.5 meter USB cable length. In the package, you're also getting a RGB header to synchronize the RGB lighting on the GPU with your PC. Now let's finally get our hands on on this GPU and first talk about the design and build quality. Initial impressions, I have to say this is one gorgeous looking GPU guys. I mean look at the whole white paint job. Absolutely beautiful. You're actually getting like a two-tone design with a triple fan edition card and Colorful is actually calling it as triple hurricane scythe fan blades. You're getting massive 104 mm dual ball bearing premium sort of fans on the front side. And also check out this beautiful chrome inserts. You're getting some RGB lighting also on the front side. They're calling it as flare RGB lighting. And at the central area, do you see these contacts, gold contacts? This is where your external display connects guys. As I've told you, it's a magnetically detachable display and all you need to do is just bring it close and it automatically attaches via magnets. There you go, as simple as that. And if you ask about the specs, it's a large size display with a high resolution of 800 by 216, which is actually quite high for a GPU display, I would say. And it's a fully customizable display, capable of showing you real-time PC stats. You can apply your own personal GIFs or maybe like video files, images, and much more. And fancy part is the display can be attached in two different positions. Say, suppose you are vertically mounting this GPU in your PC. That time, you can actually remove the display and connect it in a vertical position just like this. So you don't miss out your beautiful fancy looking display 
on the GPU. Let me also quickly show you how the back profile looks as well. Beautiful looking design, I would say. Look at this, you're getting Vulcan streaks with red inserts over here and that mirror finished iGame logo. Large cutout as well for plenty of A circulation to keep the card running cool. You got the iGame logo on the right side and GeForce RTX on the left side. And on the bottom, you're getting your PCI Express connector, good quality connector, I would say. Even the rubber cover is white finished, guys. Let me also show you all the available IO connectivity ports. As usual, just like any other high-end GPU, here also you're getting a stainless steel bracket and you're getting three DP ports and one HDMI 2.1. And not to miss out, this Vulcan high-end edition card also comes with a manual turbo OC clock button. Simply push this and you'll get boosted clock frequencies out of the box. No software, nothing required. Well, that is pretty much it. Our complete overview on this beautiful and gorgeous looking iGame 4070 Ti Super OC Vulcan White Edition card. What I'll do is I'll quickly install it in my PC and show you how the display and RGB lighting on this thing looks like. Installing the GPU is a walk in the park, but I do have to mention it's got a massive three slot design, right? So make sure you actually have a large case, maybe like a mid tower or a full tower case. So you won't face any sort of issues. And as soon as you boot it up, right? There you go. That beautiful display lights up and man, I have to say it's a head turner. It's a fully customizable display. All you need to do is simply download this application or software on your Windows PC called as iGame Center from their website only. And that's it. It'll automatically detect the GPU and shows you a lot of stuff that you can customize. You can adjust the brightness levels, change the background, change different animation effects. And not only that, it is even capable of showing you your real time PC stats like CPU temperature, clock frequencies, or maybe like GPU statistic informations and plenty more stuff. And yes, you can even apply a lot of funny GIFs or video files as well. Plus it literally has like an online GIF market from where you can download readily available GIFs made specially for this display. And if you ask about the quality, display quality is also pretty good. I believe it's an IPS pack panel and has a resolution of 800 by 216. Very good crisp and clear clarity I would say. Text is easily readable, not an issue at all. And on the overall now, killer GPU is what I can say. So what are we waiting for? Let's quickly jump into the benchmarks and talk about the review as well as performance of this card. But wait a second, before that let me quickly talk about the test and setup I'll be using for this particular review. So as usual I'll be going with Intel's 12th Gen i9 and 12900K and if you're talking about the RAM I'll be using 16 GB 18 to 2 kit from Team T4 clocked at 3600 megahertz and all of that being powered by 850 watt power supply. Now let's jump into the benchmarks and check out the real world gaming performance of this card. How does the new 4070 Ti Super perform right now in the market? We'll be doing a lot of benchmarks guys. We'll be playing these games at different resolutions with ray tracing and also Nvidia technologies on and off. Plus we'll also be doing a bit of comparisons as well with the existing 40 series nearby cards and also some competitors. So make sure to watch it till the end. First of all you people people know right 4070 Ti Super was specifically made for like ultimate 1440p gaming no compromise gaming over here plus you can do a bit of 4k gaming as well so we will be testing all the games at minimum 1440p resolution and 4k only I will not be touching 1080p at all because when you're spending almost like 80 90 thousand on a graphic card I'm pretty sure you'll be playing games at higher resolutions only so starting off first we'll play cyberpunk 2077 this would be like a really good test so first we'll be testing out this game at 40 1440p resolution and all the graphics set to like maximum ultra in the game and in this particular test ray tracing and DLSS including frame generation are off. So let's quickly check out how does the game perform. My god, are you people looking at the frame rate? Triple digit FPS guys, raw rasterization performance. We were getting an average of around 110 to 115 FPS in the middle of Night City. Now that is the kind of performance you can expect on the 4070 Ti Super guys. At 1440p maximum ultra graphics, even without using any sort of upscaling. Everything feels like buttery smooth and game runs like musk on this card. In certain action and graphic intensive scenes, FPS was slightly dropped into around 1995 FPS. But still, pretty good job I would say. Now let's quickly enable ray tracing at the same 1440p maximum ultra graphics and check out the performance. Okay, we can definitely see a hit in the performance. FPS has straight dropped from 110, 115 to 70, 75 FPS on an average. But still pretty good guys, even without DLSS and frame generation, game is quite playable with ray tracing. Again, we are talking about Cyberpunk 2077, which is a very graphic intensive game. Man, whenever I play this game, I'm really or inspired by the graphics just look at that beautiful looking city right peak game I would say still in 2024. Now let's quickly enable frame generation and also DLSS 3.5 and check out how the cyberpunk perform with all of these at 1440p maximum ultra graphics. 
Oh wow! Now that is what I'm talking about. We're almost seeing like double the performance digits, guys. Look at that FPS from 70, 75 to 125, 130, 35 also on an average. Now that kind of difference DLSS 3.5 and frame generation can do. So kudos Nvidia, really good job. So guys, simply by enabling frame generation and DLSS 3.5, you can play this game with like triple digit FPS at 1440p even with maximum ray tracing graphics. So 4070 Ti Super is like very well capable of these sort of settings. Now let's bump up the resolution to 4K maximum ultra graphics and see if this card can handle it. So right now in this particular test, ray tracing and DLSS both are off and on an average, we we were getting around like 75 to 80 fps not bad man i mean this is at 4k max graphics right so still quite playable with really good fps above 60 only so you can easily play the game on your 4k tv as well i'm quite curious about ray tracing performance at 4k so let's quickly enable ray tracing i'll also turn on frame generation and dlss because we're doing this at 4k right it might be quite difficult for the 4070 series anyways as you can see we can definitely see a bit of improvement straight from 70 75 to 90 95 fps when frame generation and dlss has been turned on at 4k so really good results guys and sometimes we were even getting around like 100 fps moving on let's also try out last of us part one that is also a very graphic intensive game and we've seen the limitations of 12 gb vram on the 4070 super last time now let's see how does the 16 gb vram on the ti edition of the super car perform on the same game so this game also will be playing at different resolutions and different graphics right now in this first test we're playing the game at 1440p maximum ultra graphics possible in the game and on an average we were getting around like impressive 85 to 90 fps so 16 gb vram definitely makes a difference guys what happens is when you're playing these sort of graphic intensive AAA title games with limited 10 or 12 gb vram and you try to go to higher resolutions or maybe max out graphics you get instabilities certain times games also crash which i've actually faced a lot of times those sort of problems you'll not get over here plus you're not only getting like 16 gb of increased vram you're also getting like a much wider 256 bit memory bus width that that also definitely adds to the overall performance. Quickly increasing the resolution to 4K, keeping the graphics still at maximum ultra in the game, we were still getting around like impressive 50 to 55 FPS guys, which is quite playable I would say. Though in certain action scenes, maybe like bomb blast or you know these sort of stuff, FPS was slightly dropping to around like 45 FPS. Still pretty much playable at maximum graphics settings. If you want to enjoy like a very consistent 60 or 70 plus FPS, right? Slightly lower down the graphics, maybe like you know to very high from ultra and you can definitely enjoy the whole experience at 4k moving on to the third game which is spider-man remastered this also will be playing at different resolutions in this first clip we'll be testing the game at 1440p resolution maximum ultra graphics ray tracing and dlss off and as you can see on an average we were getting a raw performance of triple digit fps guys 130 to 135 muska gaming performance on the 4070 ti super no lags or stutters so far and i'm really enjoying gaming on this card. Quickly enabling ray tracing at the same 1440p maximum ultra graphics, FPS has slightly taken a hit and now we were getting around like 80-85 FPS. Again though keep in mind DLSS is still not enabled. If we enable DLSS right you can definitely see a bit of slight improvement I would say from 80 to you are getting around like 90-95 FPS. Quickly increasing the resolution to 4K and keeping the graphics still at maximum ultra and this time ray tracing and DLSS off, we were getting an average of around 100 to 110 FPS. So at 4K also guys, you are getting triple digit FPS in this game. And in this last test, let's also enable ray tracing and DLSS at 4K ultra graphics and let's check out the results. Not bad, right? Quite impressive, I would say. Look at the FPS, 75 to 80 with ray tracing at 4K. Now, what more can you expect from a 4070 series card, guys? I mean, you know, Nvidia has like maxed out the 70 series this year. So that's it, our video on this new card from Nvidia. You people can also definitely share your feedback and thoughts in the comment section. And wait a second, I haven't told you about the pricing, right? So 4070 Ti Super is going to be like very close to like 85 or maybe like 90,000 rupees in the Indian market. You know, they're gonna keep the pricing very very similar to the already existing 4070 Ti and the older edition 4070 Ti might get like a slight price cut making it much more affordable. If you all enjoyed watching this video and got complete information make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome content and I'll see you all in my next one.